Welcome to Troubleshooting Tips with Cat Pumps. Today we will discuss the pop-off valve, its function, and how to adjust its pressure setting properly. The pop-off valve is a secondary safety relief valve that is typically paired with either a pressure regulator or unloader valve serving as the primary pressure control valve. In the event that the primary pressure control valve fails to bypass fluid or cannot relieve a system pressure spike, the pop-off valve will open at its set pressure. This releases the overpressurized liquid, preventing possible damage to the system or surroundings. A pop-off valve can save on costly pump and system repairs, and more importantly, it's an added safety feature to protect those working around the equipment. Cat Pump's pop-off valves are available in brass and 316 stainless steel. Compact and easy to install, they provide valuable and reliable secondary system protection. Our 6 gallons per minute valves cover a range from 300 to 4,000 PSI, while our 25 gallons per minute cover a range from 1,000 to 4,000 PSI for higher flow applications. Both have a maximum relief setting of 4,400 PSI, and high temperature pop-off valve options are available for fluids up to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Select a pop-off valve that meets or exceeds the flow and pressure requirements of the system. The pop-off valve should mount to the discharge port of the pump manifold, opposite the primary pressure control valve. If this discharge port is unavailable, plumb the pop-off valve parallel to the high-pressure line upstream from the primary pressure control valve. The bypass flow from the pop-off valve should be left open or drained to the floor. If the pop-off valve opens and relieves, the bypass liquid needs to be visible to the operator so cause of the relief can be addressed. Do not route the bypass flow from the pop-off valve back to a reservoir or the pump's inlet. Caution: When the pop-off valve bypasses, water can be expelled under extreme pressure. To prevent injury or damage, be sure the relief port is pointed in a safe direction away from people or property. Configuring the 6 gallon per minute pop-off valve. Setting and adjusting the primary regulating device and pop-off valve must be done while the system is running. Set the primary pressure regulating device to its minimum setting by turning the adjustment handle counterclockwise. On the 6 gallons per minute pop-off valves, the adjustment screw is internal. Using a quarter inch hex key, turn the adjustment screw clockwise to the highest pressure setting, then counterclockwise slightly so the valve is not bottomed out. With the system on and running, actuate the flow downstream. Adjust the primary pressure control valve clockwise to increase the system operating pressure to the desired set point. If there is visible water coming from the pop-off valve discharge port during this process, continue to increase its setting. With the system operating at full pressure, slowly turn the pop-off valve's adjusting screw counterclockwise until a small amount of water is dripping from it. Adjust a half turn clockwise until dripping stops. No more than three half turns should be required. Cycle the downstream flow on and off a few times and check for any additional leaks. A closing trigger gun or solenoid valve may create a pressure spike and cause the pop-off valve to leak. Readjust as necessary. The pop-off valve is now set approximately 200 to 300 PSI over the system pressure. Configuring the 25 gallon per minute pop-off valve. Setting and adjusting the primary regulating device and pop-off valve must be done while the system is running. Set the primary pressure regulating device to its minimum setting by turning the adjustment handle counterclockwise. On the 25 gallons per minute pop-off valves, the adjusting barb is external. Hand thread the lock nut towards the 3 quarter inch NPT male inlet port and slide the O-ring down to the lock nut. Using a 1 and 1 8 inch wrench or your hand, turn the adjusting barb clockwise to the highest pressure setting, then counterclockwise slightly so the valve is not bottomed out. With the system on and running, actuate the flow downstream. Adjust the primary pressure control valve clockwise to increase the system operating pressure to desired set point. If there is visible water coming from the pop-off valve bypass port during this process, continue to increase its setting. With the system operating at full pressure, slowly turn the pop-off valve's adjusting barb counterclockwise until a small amount of water is dripping from it. Adjust a half turn clockwise until dripping stops. No more than three half turns should be required. Cycle the downstream flow on and off a few times and check for any additional leaks. A closing trigger gun or solenoid valve may create a pressure spike and cause the pop-off valve to leak. Readjust as necessary. 
Slide the O-ring up to the adjusting barb and then hand thread the lock nut up to the O-ring and the adjusting barb so that the O-ring is fully compressed. The pop-off valve is now set approximately 200 to 300 PSI over the system pressure. Let's review what we've covered. The pop-off valve is a secondary safety relief device typically paired with either a pressure regulator or unloader valve serving as the primary pressure control device. The pop-off valve should mount to the discharge port of the pump manifold opposite the primary pressure regulating device, or parallel to the high pressure line upstream from the primary pressure regulating device. Do not plumb the bypass flow from the pop-off valve back to the pump inlet port. Adjust the primary pressure regulating device to the desired system pressure, then adjust the pop-off valve. After adjusting the pop-off valve, cycle the downstream flow on and off a few times and check for any additional leaks. Readjust if necessary.